you know, when we think about Leadership Kentucky and its 35 years, we obviously think about the benefit that it has been to hundreds of uh, emerging leaders in Kentucky. And the personal benefits are profound because you get that exposure, you get the connections, et cetera. But I think we also need to think about how much Kentucky needs Leadership Kentucky. If we're going to shape this state, improve its rankings in health and education, public safety, those sorts of things, we have got to invest in leaders who can make that happen, not just today, but tomorrow and a decade from now and a generation from now. Going through Leadership Kentucky, I was in the eighth class, uh, was a tremendous personal experience. I mean, we think we know our state, but we don't until we travel there and we talk to officials about uh, the justice system or the social network, uh, the economy, and that sort of thing. So it was such a great personal experience. I've had the opportunity to play a leadership role in several organizations, my National Association of Chamber of Commerce Professionals, uh, the National Association of State Chambers, um, just coming in as the chairman of the Georgetown College Board of Trustees. I guess one of my character flaws is that when I get involved in something, I get really passionate about it. I guess from my high school and college days. In college, I was president of the student body. You get involved, you can see that you get things done that you're passionate about. That's rewarding to somebody with my particular motivation and all. Uh, I was in politics for a while. I found that I was not as motivated, for example, when I was mayor of Owensboro for eight years, I was not nearly as motivated by the functions of being a mayor, city council meetings and budgets, uh, that frankly was kind of boring. <laughs> But it was the projects that we could get done, the things that we could do, build a new performing arts center, uh, build a, a, a linear park around the city of Owensboro. That's what was my motivation. So I think behind most uh, leaders is a person, personal sense of motivation that I want to get X, Y, and Z done. You know, to the extent that leadership is part of motivating other people to go in a certain direction, then obviously connections are incredibly important. But, but connecting to find out what that shared knowledge and that shared passion is, I think that can be a very, very powerful tool. I, I guess I would advise that pursue the things you're passionate about. If you're passionate about the arts, if you're passionate about economic development, about tourism, uh, about helping children, uh, Whatever that passion is, I think that's where leadership will emerge. I really think that Leadership Kentucky will be around for another 35 years. It's just such a solid concept. You've got this alumni base of hundreds. You've got major companies and other you know, foundations that support it. Um, and you've got a solid staff and board now. So I think it will, I, I'd be very surprised if it's not uh, as strong or stronger 35 years from now.